Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is enjoying the Cold War beta this weekend. I have been grinding it so hard. My favourite gun right now is probably the MP5. Uh, honestly, this gameplay I go off with the MP5 uh, and I actually think towards the end of this gameplay I think I ended up getting sniped about 10 times in a row. The snipers in this lobby was absolutely cracked. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about some very, very touchy subjects which I've seen in the beta already, which is honestly so, so annoying and something that is very controversial as well. There has been aimbot hackers in Cold War, hopefully I can put a uh, clip up on screen right now of the worst aimbot hacker I've ever seen in Call of Duty. Uh, apart from, obviously, I've seen aimbot hackers before like this, back in like the Modern Warfare 2 days, like way back, like, say like when I was playing Black Ops 2, I'd go back and play Modern Warfare 2, so it was like a massive difference, like it was ages since Modern Warfare was actually released. Because uh, everybody used to go back and hack the old games, that's when I've seen aimbot hackers similar to this. Never have I ever come across an aimbot hacker in, you know, the new Call of Duty. I've come across aimbot hackers in Modern Warfare a few times, uh, in Warzone and once in pubs, uh, which was surprising. Super annoying, but never have I seen an aimbot hacker like this guy. He's got lasers all over his screen, literally locking onto heads, and it's only the beta. Uh, and in my opinion, in terms of hackers, I think hackers, if they do get caught, which hopefully they will get caught in the beta, come on. Uh, obviously, they're monitoring everything so heavy right now in the beta. That's the whole point of it, to see like, any bugs and things. Uh, they should be straight IP banned. Personally, don't ban the account. IP ban this, the, the you know, the internet from playing Call of Duty. Because then, obviously, if you just ban an account, what they're going to do? They're just going to make a make a new account, back hacking again. It literally does not solve the problem banning accounts. IP ban them so they can't actually play the game without switching Wi-Fi's. No one's going to really switch in Wi-Fi's just over an IP ban. Really, uh, realistically, that is. So super annoying on that front, this isn't the only aimbot clip I've seen, I've seen a couple more on Twitter, like this going around Twitter, you probably might have seen them yourself, super annoying, it shouldn't be happening at this stage in the game, but what the main subject of this video is and what I want to talk about uh, is there has been a video released on Twitter, I've only seen one person post this and I don't personally think it's popped up on my screen, hopefully I get it up on your screen right now, uh, when this guy uh, ended a lobby, or he got kicked out of a lobby or something like that, um, it wouldn't load into the game, and it said like no bots available or something. I can't remember exactly what it said, but you'll see it on your screen right now. Uh, so like no bots available in the lobby, uh, which is super weird. What does this mean? Does this mean we've got like a mixture of actual real players and fake players, like bot players, like you know AI players that aren't actually real people? They're just computer controlled. That would be. Honestly, the worst thing that could ever happen to Call of Duty as a whole, uh, the console Call of Duty, because I do know this is actually a thing. We've seen it in other games before. It it got happened. It happened in Fortnite. They started mixing their lo lobbies in Fortnite with bots and regular people for whatever reason. I don't know, and I know this is actually a feature in Call of Duty Mobile. Because I remember when Call of Duty Mobile dropped, literally my first game on, and I w I'm not a mobile gamer. Like I I'm rusty as hell on on, them, on like that game. I remember when it first dropped like a year ago. Uh, I went off on my first game for a mobile game I don't play mobile games very often apart from like the odd like I don't even know able pool type game you know what I mean uh, and I went off and I was like what the hell am I just got am I just sick at this game or what uh, so I played a couple more games I did absolutely insane every single game after that I later found out that most of the lobby was filled with bots um, and that's still how it is today. In the public matches on Call of Duty Mobile, it's full of bots uh, and regular players as a mixture. Uh, more bots than regular players, I do believe. But the rank playing that game is only real players, uh, so that's just in case you was wondering. Uh, so if we're going to see bots added into Cold War uh, mixing, mixed with regular players, this could literally be a nightmare for... A person like me, I don't play much Warzone, uh, you know, I'm a pub stomper, I like to, you know, go into pubs and absolutely destroy. Uh, that means, like, all my gameplays and other people who do similar type gameplays, they're just going to be almost meaningless, meaningless, like, like, you can get a good gameplay and you're like, yeah, well, okay, that's good gameplay, man, but you're playing against bots. So what is it, what, how is this going to work? Are these bots going to be a certain skill level? Obviously, you can't get a bot that's got, like, a free KD, can you? I know you can get, a, obviously, bots that are veteran, hardened, regular and recruit. Uh, is it going to, say if I've got a sick KD, am I going to get veteran bots in my lobby? Because if you've seen bots how they play, if you play bots on like a private lobby or whatever, a veteran bot is literally like an aimbot player. They literally just snap clean on you. Obviously, it's not instant reactions like an aimbot, like an actual person with an aimbot would have. 
but it, the aim is literally an aimbot once it's locked onto you. It's uh, honestly crazy. It can be really difficult to play against veteran bots uh, sometimes, to be honest. And even still, I think I played veteran bots in Modern Warfare. They was actually very, very. It was, they didn't seem very hard to play against. But the one that sticks out for me is like I think Black Ops Two. Veteran bots on that game was just like cracked, man. Honestly, if, if they're gonna be like that, it's gonna ruin the experience. Like I think the whole bots in general in multiplayer does not make sense it's multiplayer it's an online game if i wanted to play bots to warm up or whatever i want to do i'll hop into a private match and i'll set some bots up myself if that's something i wanted to do i don't want to go into pubs to rank up and you know get good gameplays and play against actual people you know show my skill against actual people you know i don't want to be showing skill against bots because how can you even do that they're bots, they're not real people, they don't react like a real person, they don't play like a real person, they don't move around the map like a real person, it's, it's, it's crazy, Why? Like, I don't know if it's just some kind of glitch or whatever, it is the beta still, maybe they've just mixed a few bots in in the beta, I don't know, but personally, personally, I don't think I've experienced any bot players, uh, especially when the skill based matchmaking did kick in for me, uh, everybody seems to be half decent players, you know, and there's loads of people talking to them always all the time, um, which is weird, and I feel like the gamer tags as well, I feel like if you have a, you know, a gamer tag, which could be a bot now looking at it looking at the kill feed the guy called polyfic uh, that kind of looks kind of sus and there was a guy called egg and um, they do look kind of sus now but then again they might not be it's it's so confusing now i got bots in my lobby i'm gonna be super cautious when i'm getting out of lobbies and things uh, to see if i get the same message that like error message displayed why that would display anyway i don't know it's a beta, so it could be a glitch like that's not meant to be there there's actually no bots in it or it could be a glitch where you're not actually meant to see that and there is bots in the game, but you're not meant to know. It's honestly a crazy, crazy subject. Like, I don't know what to even think right now. I'll show it one more time on the screen. Uh, hopefully the quality is not too bad of it. I'm going to have to sh get off of Twitter, like somehow get the video off Twitter, like screen record or something. Um, I couldn't believe it. It got a lot of attention very, very quickly. Uh, and I was like, what the fuck? Honestly, man, I don't even know if that's going to be the case. Uh, every f single year... Something seems to happen with Call of Duty when it seems so good like this game seems, seems honestly this game for me is amazing I'm really really excited to grind this game all year round um, But if there's gonna be bots in it, it's just gonna ruin the full experience And I'm not really gonna want to play this game and I probably would play Modern Warfare for another year as much as I don't even want to And I really hope the case is that there's no bots in this game in mixing with public matches And if there is gonna be bots mixing with public matches like Call of Duty Mobile then had Add a very very good rank play. Similar to COD Mobile rank play for me is actually really really good. I really fun. I, I do actually really enjoy playing a uh, Call of Duty Mobile rank play. Uh, for for a period of time at the start of lockdown uh, around March time, I did play a lot of Call of Duty Mobile. For whatever reason, I don't know. Just something came over me and I was grinding that game. The rank play in that game was so much fun. It, or if it's like Black Ops 2, something that makes rank play so so good and multiplayer can sort of be a bit more chill for the casual players. Some are bots, some players are bots, some players are real. I would understand that a little bit more. I, w I, I wouldn't be as butt hurt if that's going to be the case. But if it's going to be the same case as like the, you know, the Modern Warfare rank play, which wasn't even rank play, it was just a playlist that said CDL on it. Man, why, why didn't they have a rank play in that game? Or Black Ops 2 uh, League play, uh, for instance, was okay. But it took them more or less all year to add that into the game. If that's going to be the case here again, then I'm going to be pissed. Just please, 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 I pray there's no bots in pubs. I pray there's no bots whatsoever with the online play, apart from private matches. Then I'll be happy. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, down in the comments below. Do you think it's a glitch? Do you think it's something that's in the game, but the, that message shouldn't have been displayed? Or do you just think, you know, it's just a glitch, there's no bots in multiplayer, you know, it's, it's a load of rubbish? Let me know. And if, if it is real, if there is bots going to be in multiplayer, let me know your opinions down below as well. But unfortunately, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. Very, very, very controversial subject, I know. But hope you guys are enjoying the Cold War beta just as much as I am. Stay grinding, guys. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you are new around here, make sure you are hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for them, they're down in the description below. But apart from that, guys, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.